Hello and welcome to the Rift Breaker. I played this on the channel a number of months ago, I believe, and it's now just released. Yeah, it's now just released, and I'm very pleased to say that it has turned out extremely nicely. I mean, obviously, the version that I played before was a preview build, and even then, I was very impressed. Anyway, there's a campaign mode. You can play the prologue if you want to, and as well as a survival mode. I've been playing a bunch of the campaign, and so far, I am having a whale of a time. There's also streaming compatibility to this as well, so if you want to stream it on Twitch, I assume, then... Uh, you can get your viewers or your friends or whatever to, you know, to vote on various things that can happen during the game. This is a base building survival game with action RPG elements and we're going to be creating a new game here. There's also a hardcore mode, so yeah, this removes the ability to respawn and when Mr. Riggs is destroyed it is game over. Okay, so Mr. Riggs. That is the name of your mech suit, and the mech suit has an AI personality, so that is Mr. Riggs, and you are playing as a scientist slash commando by the name of Ashley, and she is the pilot of the mech suit, and there's a bunch of other sort of sort of conspiracy maybe intrigue things that i haven't uh, found out about the story just yet so there's a bunch to discover potentially anyway easy normal hard brutal we're going to be playing on normal i don't really care about the campaign name because obviously that's just the save and we're going to be starting a new game so there is a cutscene here thankfully i can skip it if you don't want to skip it then obviously you can watch it yourself when you buy the game or just in general find it somewhere else but I really want to get into the game because this is by Exor Studios. Exor Studios are the people that created Zombie Driver, as far as I remember. And they are very good at, well, physics-based chaos and carnage and, and, and all kinds of blood flying everywhere and, and crazy things like that. Look at this. Yes, look at what is happening right here. You see this? You see all this this fauna that I am, a flora and fauna that I'm destroying right here? This is actually a resource, if you believe it. Look at that. On the right side of the screen, plant biomass is what I'm picking up right now. And you can also pick up a wide variety of other things too. Now, they're going to go through a little bit of um, story here in the top left. And uh, generally, I'm just going to spend that time... Uh, kind of collecting the plant biomass. Because there's going to be a bunch of things as you go through that are going to attack you. So obviously you're going to be attacked by a variety of wildlife on this planet because Earth is in some very dire straits apparently and we are like a, a forward, um, forward squad that is tasked with finding a new colony to expand uh, for the human race basically. And um, this is one of our only hopes, pretty much. I mean, it's one of those things. Anyway, we need to find carbonium, all right? We need to find carbonium, as you can see right there. So we have to gather 200 carbonium, and we also need to construct the headquarters. Now, bear in mind that because Mr. Riggs is an absolutely fantastic mech, he can pretty much do anything you want him to. He has a uh, Gatling gun. He has the ability to mine himself. So as you can see, look at that. If I just hold space down, I'm going to be gaining a bunch of Carbonium. And then I'm going to be able to build a headquarters. So building the headquarters, obviously I'm going to kill all these guys first. I do have a shield as well. Whoa, that's a lot of, that's a lot of enemies. Yeah, and that's exactly what I'm talking about. This game has so many enemies that you can fight at once. And if you're not careful, you will be overrun. But it is so fun. It makes you feel like you're an actual powerful mech. Instead of just being one of those random... I don't know. It, it makes you feel powerful. And at the same time, it makes you feel kind of weak. Because <laughs> if you make a mistake or if you get uh, you know too outnumbered or something you can die very, very fast. Oh yeah, and if I didn't mention it already, there's a link in the description if you want to check out the Steam Store page, and I would recommend it. It is definitely one of those games that I think is quite unique. I don't think there have been many games that do this kind of genre, in my opinion at least. 
So let's see what we have to do next. I think we have to we have to build some carbonium factories, don't we? So I'm actually just going to continue mining some carbonium. Yes, we need to build a carbonium factory next. And uh, there's a wide variety of other resources that we can gain as time goes on as well. We need ionium as well. And uh, there's also obviously plant flora and things like that. But we have so many different things that we can build. So for example, we have obviously the headquarters. We have armory. We have communications hub. We have a rift station, which allows you to teleport to various places. We have a carbonium factory, which is obviously right here. We're going to be placing that right down. I'm also going to have to build a power grid because there are these little things called energy connectors. These things allow you to connect your structures to the energy grid. And I'm going to also have to build energy generators. Now, I'm going to go for energy generators that are primarily to do with... Um, clean energy. I'm going to go for things like uh, wind turbines and solar panels because here's the thing. The power plants, they need to be placed on these deposits right here. They need to be placed upon the carbonium and I don't want to do that. I think that is a bad idea. So I'm actually going to be building solar panels for the most part and we're just going to be building three two three three of those and then i'm going to build a bunch of um a bunch of energy collectors basically and these energy collectors are going to expand the storage of energy that i have because obviously solar panels don't work in the night time and there is a night time don't worry about that there is a night time so we will not be able to make good use of those um, energy generators at that point. So I'm going to try and get an energy saving system really, really fast right here. And then we're just going to place it round about there. I don't really care where we place it, but it's going to give us 10,000 additional storage in terms of energy. And we can also move around here. I'm going to probably just kill this pack of enemies because they are just kind of hanging around a little bit too close to my base. And I'm not a big fan of that. And uh, otherwise, I'm just going to get rid of all this area here you can clear out basically anything you want in the entire game with the exception of these very large rock formations but you have to be very careful by the way as well because i actually ended up killing myself when i inadvertently slashed into an explosive plant of some kind so you do need to be a little bit careful of that hello there there's a number of enemies i also have a gatling gun as you can see right there but i have limited ammunition for it at the moment because i don't have an armory building currently constructed so obviously that is a bit of an issue now i do have a lot of plant biomass now there is a biomass factory as well which will use the biomass that you collect from the wildlife in the area as well which is definitely going to be something i will build later down the line when i built it in my other save i was very very pleased with it it was extremely efficient and it just uses all the biomass that you're going to be gaining anyway as you explore the planet so it really does make a big difference. And there's a bunch of carbonium around here as well. Bear in mind that if you take a look at the mini-map, you can see exactly what's going on. The orange on the map is ionium. The uh, blue on the map is carbonium. And the red is, of course, an enemy group. So you do need to be a little bit careful about that. Now, yeah, you can see here that I'm currently producing no energy whatsoever because it is indeed nighttime at the moment, which I got to say is not exactly great. So I think what we're probably going to do is we're going to build some wind turbines. And we're going to build those right next door to this. There we go. And they're all going to be connected. Oh, and I placed that wrong. Okay, can I sell that? Yes, I can sell that. Uh, that was going to annoy a lot of people right there. Uh, oh, well, I don't really care, to be honest. But generally, a lot of people do seem to care about things being, you know, lined up and all that sort of thing. So I'm going to try and be a little bit more agreeable in that respect. Anyway, let's just see if I can maybe clear out a bunch more of this. There's more enemies. Let's get them. So much damage you, you are capable of doing here as well. Nice. There we go. And we'll just clear out these trees as well. I just want to try and cut down as much as I can because I am going to be building up my base because as you can see you have to prepare for an incoming attack and the incoming attack is on its way in four minutes or so. And when that happens, enemies are going to come from, well, anywhere. They can come from anywhere, basically. So, yeah, we need to be a little bit cautious about that. 
And I'm just going to place a bunch of storage here. I also want to get another carbonium factory. So I'm actually going to do a little bit of mining myself to increase the speed. And uh, yeah, as you can see, Mr. Riggs is actually saying that we can we, we should construct an armory because that's going to give us new weapons and upgrades and also manufacture field repair kits and other other items that could be very, very useful. Anyway, I'm just going to get another one of these little little mines being built right here because we do need to get some more carbonium built. Uh, or shall we say <laughs> uh, gathered, uh, I guess you could call it much, much more accurately. And we got some more carbonium over here as well. But there is an uh, there is an attack incoming, and this is a ve this is actually a really, really bad location because in my other save I actually spawned in a location that was in the middle of uh, a bunch of uh, a, b a bunch of rocks, a, a bunch of rock formations, and that really helped to should we say secure the location for my base but that is obviously not happening here so i'm going to have to do things a little bit differently unfortunately so let's go for some sentinel towers because these are the things that are going to protect us i'm probably just going to go for something like this they're not connected to the energy grid right now unfortunately so i'm just going to make sure that that is done like so and now we have a bit of a situation on our hands. We're going to have to build an AI hub. And to build an AI hub, I'm going to need some Ionium. So what are we going to do about that? Well, we're going to have to go and get some, which is just down here. So to get some, what are we going to do? Well, we have to expand our energy grid, of course. So I'm going to have to do something like this. I'm going to have to build this way. And once again and then that should be good enough yes that should be good enough so we're going to have to do that so let's get some ionium there's an ionium factory right there let's build one of those can i build another one yes i can so let's build another one of those as well there we go all right so that's looking pretty good i'm going to do a little bit of mining myself to try and get these um get the ionium that i need as much as possible and uh, we might have some issues here because I don't know whether I will be ready for the attack. Bear in mind, there's only one wave that is going to be incoming straight away. So we shouldn't have too many difficulties with dealing with them. But you never know. Maybe maybe they're going to take us unawares or something like that. But I have enough Ionium now, so I'm going to build another AI core in just a second. I'm going to get uh, another Carbonium factory before that, though. And let's build that. I need... Oh, I need some more Carbonium, actually. Oh, that's hilarious. Okay, well, as you can see, the Carbonium dramatically increases whenever I actually start doing it, so I'm pretty happy with that. Let's build one here. And you need AI cores to be able to continue to use things like Sentinel Towers and uh, varieties of other buildings. So that's really going to make a, a big difference. And uh, hopefully, I think that should be fine, but I'm going to need to build some more some more towers here. It's just another one like that. And I need some more Carbonium, unfortunately, so I'm going to build another one here. There we go. I need to build another one of these. All right. Uh, so far, my power generation is not enough, in my opinion, so I'm going to build some more solar panels. And the attack is now incoming in 30 seconds. So that is not great. But, well, I think I've prepared reasonably well. You can build walls and gates as well. But bear in mind that this is... This is not a good map for it. As I said before, my other save, I have a much better... Um, much better way of uh, blocking the enemy's route to my... Um, to my base so yeah uh, this is not so this is not so good so we'll see where they're going to come from hopefully they're not going to ah they're coming from the top okay i'm gonna rush over there as quick as i can and boom let's try and take them down well that was easy enough that was actually a lot easier than i anticipated hilariously enough oh well never mind <laughs> yeah that was uh that was much easier than i thought okay well Let's see, um, I should probably build a plant biomass generator. I personally like these a great deal, so I'm probably going to build one round about here. There we go. And then what we're going to need to do is build an armory. So let's finally build one of those. This is a very big building, as you can see right here, so I'm probably going to place it relatively close to the headquarters. And 
Uh, what else do we have? Oh, yeah, we have basic lamps as well that you can build, and you can also build floor, which also, which actually increases the movement speed of the mech suit, amusingly enough. Ah, yes. Now, fog is rolling in. Yes, fog. This is exactly the reason why I thought a plant biomass generator would actually make a big difference because I can't see anything right now or I can see very little and having a plant biomass oh hello there having a plant biomass generator is definitely going to kind of supplement the loss of the solar panels and the wind turbines because it is going to increase air density and all that sort of thing basically they, they tell you that in the story through the dialogue it's all voice acted by the way I just turned that all down because I wanted to be able to talk and, and actually tell you what is going on here and um, to not be uh, shall we say drowned out by um, by that dialogue but it is all voice acted so you don't have to worry about that if you were concerned anyway there we go all right so now let me see what I can do here so I need to get some more carbonium I need to secure some more so where is the carbonium is it over here yeah it's over there okay let me just sneak through here <laughs> sneak through here he says as he slashes everything to death pretty much okay so what it, how, how much is actually here i can't tell yeah i can't tell how much is actually up ah, Twenty thousand. that's not that much actually but i'm going to need to do it nevertheless so let me just get over here there we go and then we're gonna need some carbonium factories let's get one there can I get another one yes I can let's get another one there and one there okay so we can get about three right there then the fog is clearing up now so now my energy production has also increased which is really nice let's in the meantime get another energy uh, energy storage and we should probably get some more solar panels as well not enough carbonium. There we go. And now, let's go through here. There's a, ge oh, there's a geothermal vent. Okay, geothermal vents are very, very useful. I haven't actually figured out the technology that I need to be able to utilize them, but I can assume that they're going to give us a huge amount of energy if we can get the proper research. So we need to upgrade the headquarters building. Now, um, in the story, in the dialogue, they tell you, uh, be very careful about upgrading your headquarters. And that is because it's going to release some kind of pulse, energy pulse or something like that, that is going to give uh, pretty much like a, a beacon. It's, it's going to light up your base for every enemy in the area to see it and they're going to not be too pleased so that's the reason why um they say to be prepared for any full. attack build more storage facilities okay yeah storage is full yes we, we need to build, build more, more storage, storage facilities storage. okay yes i i know thank you very much i need to build more storage so that's exactly what we're going to do we've got some solid material storage right here let's build one there build one there build one there and we also need to build some some AI uh, AI things as well. So I need to just get a little bit more carbonium right there. So let's build another one of these right here. And I think that should be good. All right. So now we can... Uh, wait a minute. What is this? What, what What is this right here? This is the armory, right? Yeah, this is the armory. So, can we, so we can research more things, right? So that's turning it off. And... Oh, uh, okay. Repair cost. And doesn't... Ah, uh, wait a minute. Can I... There we go. Okay. I, I have never used the armory before, so that's the reason why I was a little bit unsure of what I could do. So as you can see, you can get a shotgun and you can get a small machine gun. I'm actually not interested in the ranged weapons. I would much rather be interested in getting some more armor, like for example this, or getting some better melee weapons. But as you can see, there's only a sword available at the moment. I might be able to upgrade it though. No, no, there is only a sword available right now. Alright, so I'm going to have to wait until 300 carbonium by the looks of things. And you have a lot of upgrades as well, by the way. So you can see that right here. Um, there's a huge amount of different things that you can equip. And you can obviously change your movement skills as well. So I have a dash at the moment. And you can also change your appearance if you want to. And there's a wide variety of different consumables and indeed mods as well that you're going to be able to equip whenever you want to. So there's also that. Anyway, we have research here as well. I need to build, I need to build a communications hub to be able to enable research. And that it would no doubt give me the ability to utilize 
um, uh, to utilize the geothermal vent, which is definitely something that I would want to do as soon as possible. So I'm, I'm thinking what we're going to do is we're going to continue just moving along over here. I'm going to get one little, one little carbonium mine here, maybe two. Yeah, maybe two. Why not? Why not? And let's get one little tower over here just to defend this and a tower over here just to defend that as well. I am doing not so well in terms of power generation at the moment, so I might get another uh, another one of those uh, biomass generators. So let's get another one of those. And I need to find some more carbonium, I think. There's some over here. Yeah, there's quite a lot over here. So I'm gonna, just going to get some more biomass real quick. And this is what's so great about this game in general because you're literally able to i mean it's so satisfying to go through all of these okay i almost killed myself let's heal myself a little bit <laughs> yes that's exactly what i was talking about that's how i died before in my other save thankfully i wasn't playing hardcore mode so i was able to respawn but yeah that's the uh that's the difficulty for the most part you're going to get murdered by the explosive plants. If you don't get murdered by the enemies, you'll get killed by the explosive plants. Anyway, let's see. Uh, okay, so I, I should probably build something right about here. Okay, there we go. And something like this. Oh, is that an it? Oh, that's a huge amount of enemies. Okay, that is a little bit problematic. Let's just shoot them. Okay, that was... They were very difficult. Those enemies were much, much harder than, than normal ones. Okay, might want to be a little bit careful about that then. Uh, more Carbonium. A lot of really, really good Carbonium available here. So let's build a bunch. And some more Towers. And we're going to need some... Yeah, we're, we're, we're going to need a lot more something... I mean, it's still nighttime, which is a bit of a problem. It's 3 a.m. right now, 3.20 a.m. This is not good. Okay, so another AI, another AI core, because I obviously don't have any of those. I might have to use one of these carbonium deposits as a, uh, as a power source. I didn't really want to do that, as I said before, because I personally feel like carbonium is much more useful as a... Um, as like a construction resource or something like that, but I, I don't know. Maybe it's a good idea to just bite the bullet, so to speak. Mm, maybe. Maybe it would be a better idea. Okay, well, let's just construct a bunch of these. There we go. Now, let's let's actually bite the bullet then, shall we? Oh, wait a minute. I'm, I'm being attacked. Hello. A lot of enemies coming in. Yeah. The, oh, see, that's yeah. These are the explosive, uh, explosive things that I was talking about. Oh, hello there. Okay. Yes, let's be a little bit careful about that, shall we? Okay, so now that we have that, let's do the power plant. Let's put it right on top of that. That's going to generate a little bit of extra power. As you can see, my power is so bad right now. Oh, dear. We might be having some issues with that. We might. Okay, I need the communications generator. Can I get that? Oh, no, I need headquarters level 2 to be able to get the communications hub. Okay, well, I guess I might as well try and upgrade this then. So let's upgrade. Boom. Okay, there we go. And now we are being, uh, yeah, now we are being attacked by a very strong attack in two minutes. And we should try and reinforce our defenses. So this is, this is the wall, okay? So this is, this is how the wall works. Personally, I'm not a big fan of, uh, I, I like the way that the wall works, don't get me wrong. I, I think that it's a very cool system, what they've implemented here. But it is very difficult on this particular map to actually get a, um, a suitable place to uh, to sort of wall off, if you know what I mean. Okay, uh, let's get another one of these. Let's get another one here as well. We need to get something here to power that. Let's go through the gate. 
and once again more walls more walls i have no idea where they're going to come from that's also a bit of a problem let's build something like this there we go and oh no i did not want to do that okay that's a bit of a mistake on my part okay well let me uh let me just do this instead uh you can actually just replace things as far as i'm aware once they are built you can replace them can you can you not does it matter <laughs> yes it does look at that they could just walk in right there that is hilarious let's not do that yes okay let's just sell that straight away easy enough to sell as you can see right there okay yeah so let's do this properly now you can rotate buildings with the middle mouse button and there we have it okay so we are having are we having some issues with power right now no I, uh, this has this has been cut off okay yeah this has been cut off that is not good so let's make sure that this uh, continues to gain power because that is our ionium as you can see right there and uh, i need more i need more flora actually or uh, pr plant biomass whatever they call it here Okay, yeah, there we go. Come on. Let's get it. Let's get it all. Thank you very much. I'm going to need more of this. Okay, we're, we're being attacked now. I have no idea where they're coming from. So, I guess I better get ready. Let's go up here. And do I need more defenses somewhere else? Well, yeah, probably here. Probably here. And... Maybe here as well, but I don't have enough AI cores, so I'm going to need to build another one of these. Okay, where are they coming from? Ah, they're coming from... Oh, are you serious? They're attacking my outposts. Oh, that is not very nice of them, is it? No, that is not very nice at all. Okay, wow, that's a lot. Look at this. You see how many enemies these are? Yeah, you see that? That is crazy. I'm actually surprised that we killed all of those. It's probably because my buildings exploded, to be honest okay yeah there you go okay so now we have the opportunity to build the communications hub and they're actually telling me to build the communications hub as well which is perfectly fine with me i'm happy with that let me see if i can do that there we go oh i need si what are you serious i need 600 iron oh that is uh that is not so good is it no that is not so good okay well let's make my way over there then and uh, there's more ionium the other way as well but Oh, well, never mind. Okay, I, I guess we'll just do this. And I'm going to try and zoom over there if I can. But oh, I really wish we could get this uh, geothermal vent. That would be so useful right now. It really would. Okay, let me just... Okay, there we go. So there's my power line. Uh, I think there's a gap in it. Isn't there a gap? Mm, no, there doesn't seem to be a gap. Okay, that's kind of interesting. I actually thought there was. Oh, well, never mind. Okay, so now let's get some more of these. And uh, we should probably get some more defenses here, just in case. And let's just kill these while we still have the opportunity to do so. All right, so we should have enough now to be able to build the communications hub. Yes, we do. Let's build it right about there. And uh, I think we're pretty good. So let's actually just get some more uh, get some more solar panels, I suppose. Get some more of these, because why not? We might as well get a whole bunch, considering we have the ability to store now 60,000 energy. Let's actually get some more of that as well. Let's get some more of those. Let's get 30,000 more of those or something like that. And then we're going to be able to research a whole bunch of things. But uh, you know what? I'm I'm going to get uh, I'm going to get carried away here. So you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to end this episode off here. If you'd like to see more from the Rift Breaker and myself, then you can well let me know in the comments. And uh, yeah, otherwise you can check out the game through the link in the description. It is a very fun game if you are a fan of action RPGs, survival, hack and slash, base building. You know any number of things, even even tower defense. Even if you if you if you don't want to do any any fighting and you just want to concentrate on base base building and doing the tower defense elements, then you can do that. You know, there's a lot of flexibility in playstyle here. Anyway, I thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you next time.